Well, you're welcome. For the umpteen time, um, we will only do what we are able to do and then we leave the rest to God. After all, we are not the Holy Spirit. I'd like you to listen to this preacher here. Now, don't get and don't misunderstand what I'm I'm actually saying. I have not I've not said that anybody should not give up friend pay tight or do whatever that you are doing in your church that you are comfortably doing. But only that uh, there are some excesses. There are some things, there are certain things that are no longer uh, necessary in the church. I sincerely believe that um, prosperity was part of what Jesus came you know, to give to us. But that wasn't the primary reason why he came. He came to save his people from their sin. And poverty and sickness and what have you were consequence of the fall of man. And so if that fall has been taken care of and there is a restoration, now, you know, all other things shall be added. That is why Jesus insisted in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. But the problem I have with the preachers of today is that they are presenting all these things ahead of the kingdom of God. And then you have a problem where a sinner that has not given his life to Christ is being cajoled into bringing money, bringing tithe, bringing offering, you know, sowing seed. And so a kidnapper can go out, kidnap people, collect ransom, and then will come to church to pay tithe. A prostitute will go outside there, prostitute and sell her body, and will come to the church to pay tithe. An armed robber will rob and will come to the church to pay tithe. A politician who is so corrupt will steal public fund and will come to the church to donate for a tabernacle to be built. Now these are the things we are saying. I'd like you to listen to this young preacher here. He is also a pastor and hear what he has to say. God bless you. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, Shalom. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the End Time Truth Television channel. We urge you to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell icon by selecting all so that the next time we upload a new video, you will be among the first persons to be notified by Google. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, Shalom. Hi, Pastor Bullis Gago here. I wanted to take a second just to talk to my fellow Nigerian Christians. I just wanted to, in this video, let you know that we pastors have been able to deceive you because you have not been reading your Bible the way you are supposed to read it. You see, by us causing you to believe that everything is spiritual, we will have you fill our churches and pray and depend on us to reveal to you the mysteries of God. While if you read your Bible correctly, you will find out that the only mystery in the Bible was Jesus that was hidden. But when the veil was torn, that mystery whom is Christ is now revealed to us. That means if you have the Holy Spirit, they should, nothing is a mystery. The Holy Spirit will reveal it to you if you need to know it. But you see, because we want you to feel spiritual about everything, we make it so spiritual that things that you're supposed to be working for, you're actually praying for. While the Bible tells us faith without works is dead. And then we, we like using books in the Bible and we interpret it in a way that the Bible was never talking about to make you do what we want. Let me give you an example. Luke, Luke chapter 6, give and it will be given to you. Press down, shaking together, rolling over. Go read Luke chapter 6 very carefully. That verse is not talking about money. The Bible never said it there. In Luke chapter 6, that given it will be given unto you. Press down, shaking together and running over. The Bible was talking about forgiveness. It was talking about not judging. The same forgiveness that you give someone else will be the same forgiveness that is given to you. That had nothing to do with money. Do I believe in giving to the Lord? Absolutely. But I don't 
tell people to give because that is how they were going to become rich because God was going to open something for them to become rich. So all of a sudden we have Christians in Nigeria believing that if they can pray hard enough and give hard enough, that is where they are going to be blessed. We're taking God as a fool where God has become our ATM machine where whatever we can give him little and God will give us more. That's how we are relating with God now. That is why our prayers are not being answered. And we pastors, because we want you to depend on us, we make everything a mystery. Get, receiving from God is a mystery. Success is a mystery. Everything has become a mystery to the point that when we Christians, God is expecting us from heaven to do something in Nigeria politically to change the trajectory of the country so that we as a country don't have to go from miracle to miracle to miracle. We can live in abundance, but we can't live in an abundance if we don't change the situation politically in Nigeria. I do agree that things are happening in the spirit, but when you have prayed in your church, you're supposed to move to Asso Rock to go make the change because you can pray all you want in your churches Nigeria will still remain the same until Christians can get sense and start running politically and stop making excuses. Go look at the civil rights movement in the United States. It was the church that led it that American, black Americans are enjoying America today because the church rose up and did something about it. But that's not what we're doing. We Christians, we're even saying now we're living by wisdom. We don't want to die because if you come out, go read your Bible. The only reason why Christianity is all over the world today is because people were willing to die for what was true. So because we have spiritualized everything and because we, are, we think we're adding wisdom to it, we have looked like fools now because we're the ones suffering the most in Nigeria. We're the ones that are hungry. We're the ones that are not running anything politically. We're the ones giving all we have to the church. We're the ones building uh, universities for churches. We're the ones that are looking like fools in all of this situation. Why? Because we're still spiritualizing things that requires us to go to the Asso Rock and to go make the changes that needs to happen. My fellow Christians, when you open your Bible, read the entire chapter and interpret it the way it is supposed to go. We need to stop praying for miracles and start living by covenant. When God blesses a nation and creates a covenant with a nation, look at the United States. I've not seen an American praying for miracle alert in, in, in their account. Miracle alerts. May God make money appear. Have you ever thought about this? If God is making money appear in your, your account, he's creating inflation, destroying the economy. Or he had to steal from someone else and put it in your account. So now God has joined our selfishness in miracle alerts. We need to wake up and realize, Christians, that when you're interpreting the Bible, it does not take away your responsibilities. We have responsibilities. We need to be politically active. We need to be economically active. We need to do what is right in society. If we don't become the example of change, nothing will change. It is either we wake up or we start to, and start to realize that our prayers maybe are not being answered because no one is moving. We are just talking, dividing mysteries to each other on how to make wealth. While the pastors that you're giving to, do you know how they became wealthy? Your offering. Maybe you too, if you are a pastor, maybe you too can become rich. There's no mystery to this. The mystery that baffles me is how we have not been able to rise to do anything. That's the true mystery. If you want change in Nigeria, after you have prayed, I didn't say prayer is not good. You must pray. But after you have prayed, let's get to action or nothing will change in Nigeria.